When I refer to Spain, I refer to it as the Madre Patria, motherland. Being a, have been a colony of, of Spain is not a painful process as so many see it. For me, it's an historical process, and it's part of my roots. And today I have the, the great pleasure to be in the company of my good friend Juan Sell, the ambassador of Spain in the Republic of South Africa. How are you, ambassador? Hola, Rodrigo. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks. I'm fine, thank you. Excellency, as the Spanish ambassador accredited to five countries in Southern Africa, Comores, Lesotho, Madagascar, Mauritius, and South Africa, how do you describe your diplomatic tour in the region? Which have been those moments or events that have stood out for you? Well, that's a different, uh, that's a difficult, uh, not, not, not really a difficult question. Uh, you, uh, let, let me say that I've been uh, around for close to five years now. So, so rather than particular moments, I, 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 I want to, to convey the feeling of uh, uh, my tour in South Africa, in the region, but particularly in South Africa, being a very pleasant one. Uh, uh, I knew it before I came, in the sense that uh, uh, South Africa has, uh, has lived up to my own expectations uh, when I was uh, posted here. It's a beautiful country, uh, most interesting, with a lovely people, and also that helps you with uh, uh, its recent history to reflect on a number of very relevant questions about uh, how societies should work, uh, uh, how the economy should move forward and the rest. Now, if you want to, to refer to particular moments, uh, the one of, that comes to my mind is, uh, is the passing of, of former President Mandela. Uh, I was here, of course I attended as many of my colleagues state funeral, but I also went to Kunu uh, to, to, to be part of the burial ceremonies. Uh, I know that uh, that's the case for most foreigners when they come to South Africa. They come to South Africa uh, with uh, Madiba in their mind. Uh, uh, not only because uh, uh, he's such a huge personality, but also because uh, through his political life, uh, he somehow has shown the way to, to, to how things could work in many parts of the world. Now, the other, other moments, uh, uh, for instance, I was not here when we uh, won the uh, football cup, in, uh, the World Soccer Cup in, in, in here in South Africa in 2010, which is part of the best memories that any Spaniard could have. Uh, uh, I won't forget, uh, as... Uh, is, it is for sure the case for many of my compatriots, uh, that goal by Iniesta uh, uh, in 2010. But I was privileged to welcome our national team back to South Africa. When they came, it, it, it was 2013, to, uh, to offer the cup they had won in South Africa to the South African people, uh, and to say thank you for the support they got in, 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 uh, during the, the tournament. But as I say, uh, rather than very particular moment, is the sense of having enjoyed myself uh, together with my family in this in this country. Now, I'm also credited to other uh, important countries of, of the region. It's always uh, difficult for an ambassador to be accredited to several countries at the same time. Uh, so, but I've tried to visit. Uh, I try to visit all of them as much as I can. Uh, and, and that brings some extra work, but also some ex extra interest to my posting here in South Africa. Apart from the traditional bilateral diplomatic relations, what other main fields has the Spanish-South African relationship pursued and accomplished so far? Now, um, of course, we, I'm, I'm sure that we'll talk later on strictly bilateral relations. but. Uh, if I want to look at the broader picture uh, between South Africa and Spain, I, I could perhaps mention two or three things. First, both countries in different moments of our history, uh, we've gone through very particular political transitions. 
peaceful transitions, or rather peaceful transitions, to be more precise, uh, that have been based on, on a broader consensus uh, amongst the political parties and the society at large. Uh, it was the case for us in, in the, the mid-70s, in the past century, uh, and it was then time for South Africa in the 90s. Now, these uh, uh, transitions of ours um, have brought to us also a call, general call, to, to try and help and, and, and contribute to, to, to conflict resolution uh, all over the world. That's one thing that brings us together. In particular, we are, both countries are very much keen on promoting multilateralism uh, as, as, as a means to, to, to give uh, or to provide answers for those global problems of, of, of ours. Uh, you've also referred to particular moments in, in South Africa. I've been privileged to be ambassador in this country uh, while at the same time Spain was a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. This was from 2014 to 2016. Uh, and uh, that has uh, allowed me uh, uh, to share with the South African government uh, a number of important initiatives that we've taken within the uh, UN Security Council. Now, mm, I'd like to say uh, to my South African friends it's a difficult uh, sail sometimes because you are at the southern tip of the continent. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd like to say that we are South African closest European neighbor. Mm -hmm. You can see Africa from our coast if the day is clear enough. There are only 14 kilometers uh, that separate uh, Spain uh, from Africa. Now, for, for a South African, we would be a European as the others, perhaps a Swedish or a Finnish. No, we are very much close to Africa. Uh, this is very easily felt in Northern Africa or in Western Africa. It's more difficult in, in, in Southern Africa. But uh, Africa is a priority for the foreign policy uh, of my country, be it in, in uh, peacekeeping missions in which we participate all over the continent, be it uh, uh, in cooperation, uh, be it on trade or political relations. Now, everyone knows that if you deal with Africa, South Africa immediately becomes an obvious partner uh, uh, for us because they are much uh, present in, in the continent, which is theirs. Uh, uh, and uh, the exchange of views and initiatives with uh, South Africa on African uh, uh, questions has been very relevant. Let me say, as a very brief uh, 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 political statement, is that we support the idea of African solutions to African problems. But even African solutions need the help of good partners and friends, and that is what we, want, we have wanted to be for South Africa and for the region as well. And I insist this is outside the strictly bilateral uh, uh, relation with this country. Other than your diplomatic mission and commercial office on Johannesburg, uh, has Spain established a chamber of commerce in South Africa? Has this influenced positively in your trade figures? And what are the future plans in that area? Well, uh, well we have our embassy, as you, as you mentioned here in, 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 in Pretoria, together with a, a very large trade office, uh, trade and economic office in Joburg. We also have a consulate general in Cape Town. Uh, and yes, in what depends, people want to say it was 2013, others rather prefer to say 2014, a bilateral uh, 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 Spain South Africa Chamber of Commerce was established in the country. Uh, that now, if my numbers are right, uh, has over 50 uh, 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 members. Now, uh, uh, to establish a chamber is, uh, at the same time, uh, something that shows the strength of economic relations. You wouldn't have a chamber if you didn't have previously a strong basis of, of, of trade and investment relations. And the same, at the same time, it is a, a, a 
very a useful instrument to promote those relations further. What is important about chambers is that it, they are members owned. Hmm? It's not an instrument for the embassy, no matter how close we are to the chamber. And, uh, Respectively, that, that I am the uh, the, the, the uh, honorary president uh, president of the chamber, as, as normally ambassadors are, but it's company owned. It is for the Spanish companies present in South Africa to use it as they feel it's more useful for them. Now, uh, besides its social uh, part, it is an instrument to uh, together uh, look at the South African market. Uh, analyze it, do their own lobbying also with the authorities, uh, and instead uh, uh, and basically show the strength of our presence here. It's also important to, to note that uh, uh, besides the Spanish, Spain, South Africa Chamber of Commerce, there is a European South Africa Chamber of Commerce to which our own national chamber is a member. And like that, you uh, multiply the effect uh, uh, and the outreach that is done by our own chamber. Uh, but yes, I'm very happy that we have that instrument with us. So in that same line of thought, what types of investment have Spanish companies placed in South Africa? What attract them to do so? And would you say it has contributed somehow to the economic local growth? Um, yes, let me go through through the numbers and uh, uh, apologies if I mis mistake some 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 or two figures. But for me, they are quite uh, quite uh, quite clear. Rather than the numbers, the ideas. No? Well, the first place, uh, South Africa is our closest economic partner in Sub-Saharan Africa. No? That's uh, very uh, very important uh, to 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 underscore. Um, bilateral trade is has been. I think that if you look at the numbers from 1996 to 2016, they have more than doubled. No? And now we are, uh, if I, I've seen the latest uh, figures, which are from 2016, full year, uh, you will be talking about more or less um, 15 billion rand in exports from uh, Spain to South Africa. 10 billion rands of imports uh, from South Africa uh, to Spain, something like that. That brings the total to 25 billion rands per year. Mm -hmm. And this has been the case for the last five or six years. We suffered a little bit with the crisis, uh, the international one, and the one particularly in Spain. But the, the, the numbers are stabilized around those that I have uh, already mentioned. Now, what it is very important, uh, because when you listen to the authorities in South Africa, they are very often worried of South Africa, and of course the continent being just an exporter of raw materials uh, for others to, to beneficiate. This is not the case. Uh, and I, I think we don't say this uh, often enough. This is not the case with Europe. And this is not the case of Spain. No? What South Africa exports, you said, for, for instance, Rodrigo, you asked me, which is the main chapter of export, e exports from South Africa to Spain? Those are cars, for instance. No? So the structure of the uh, bilateral trade is very diversified, is, uh, and it's mostly based in manufacturing sector. Now, the impact in terms of jobs of that trade is very important. Now, for me, uh, being very good trade partners, what shows, or what better shows the increase in our bilateral relations is investment. That is when a country is really shows to what extent it's committed to the economy of another country. Uh, and to what extent you believe that things are going to be fine uh, with another country. Now, the uh, investment uh, of Spanish uh, companies in Spain has, uh, 
has grown exponentially in the last years. It is true that you, that we had a number of very relevant investments, really important ones. Huh? Not many South Africans know that Coruco still is a Spanish company or Spanish-owned company, or South African Spanish-owned company. The same applies to silicon smelters and many others. Hmm? But it's true that they were somehow dispersed in different sectors and in different regions uh, of, uh, of the country. Now, what has been for us a game changer in terms of uh, uh, investment and in terms of branding uh, has been the South African Renewable Energy Program, uh, which has uh, attracted a huge amount of investment and in which uh, you know, the Spanish companies have been extremely successful in all different technologies, be it concentrated solar power, be it photovoltaic or wind energy. Uh, and that has brought for South Africans uh, a brand. Uh, Spain is renewables. Uh, well, I can say that we are the first investors in uh, South Africa, foreign investor, in uh, the renewable energy program. Uh, I must also say that uh, we have uh, on many occasions praised the South African government for the way they've run that program. Uh, and we are very much interested in seeing that program move forward. And uh, now we are not at the, at the uh, fastest moving uh, uh, moment for the program, but I think it will be part of, a, uh, of our investment portfolio in this country for a long time. Now, if I want to put a number to um, investments, of Spanish investments in, in this country, it gets a little bit tricky because statistics only show when there is money crossing the border. But many of these, for instance, investments that uh, are done uh, by uh, Spanish companies are locally financed. Mm -hmm. So what I like, the number I like to use for, for, for better understanding of, of the relevance of our investment is that the South African assets controlled by Spanish companies amount more or less to between 50 and 60 billion trans in stock, uh, uh, which is a very uh, important figure. Now, that's for the number. If you want to, to know the number of Spanish companies that are active in the country, not that they export to this market, but they are active in the country, the number gets very close to 100, 100 Spanish companies active in South Africa. And if you want to see, and you mentioned uh, what impact in growth, mm, we, the number we use, uh, if we just talk about permanent jobs, we're talking about 12,000 jobs uh, uh, that result from those investments. I'm not including the very relevant temporary job creation, for instance, to build uh, uh, thermosolar plant, a CSP plant, uh, will take at its peak between 1,000 and 1,500 workers. So, so yes, yes. Uh, sorry to, to speak this long, but I, I wanted also to, to explain that Spain is one of the leading foreign investors in uh, the world. But at the same time, we are at the receiving end. We are one of the leading investment destinations in the world. So we know very well how important investment is for those who do the investment, who do invest, and for those who receive the investment. Thanks. Spain has the biggest Spanish-speaking community based in South Africa. On your personal opinion, what is the reason for it? Well, it's true, we are the largest Spanish-speaking community. But the Spanish community is not very large when compared to other European uh, communities. We are at around 3,000 people. Not that that is small, of 
So when you compare to the number of Portuguese and, and even communities for the smaller, from smaller Spanish uh, European countries, that number is not huge. Why is it so compared to, to other nationalities? Because uh, as you started by saying, we are part of a larger community, which is the uh, Ibero-American community. Um, and when it was time for the Spaniards to, to emigrate, they would rather choose Latin American destinations uh, uh, for their venture. And, and you know it very well from your own experience and, and your own country. Uh, there has been a very important increase in the latest years directly related to those investments in the renewable energy sector that I referred to. So now we have a very young, active community in South Africa. Uh, although, we all, as, yeah, of course, we have uh, our old uh, fellow compatriots that live here. And, uh, as, uh, and I, I want to publicly thank South Africa for hosting Uh, for all South Africans looking to travel to Spain, what would be your recommendations as of what they cannot miss when they are there? How much time do you have? Uh, because uh, <laughs> you can take uh, well, until uh, for, for the whole weekend. Huh? <laughs> no, we uh, let me boast a little bit now that, that we. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, last year, last year uh, uh, we went over seventy million international tourists in Spain. Let me repeat the figure, huh? because it's 70 million, over 70 million. So I guess that there are 70 million reasons uh, to go uh, and visit Spain. Or perhaps more, because I have my own, uh, and I'm not one of those 70 million international visitors. Now, uh, um, I must first uh, confess that I'm from Madrid, so I cannot leave Madrid out of the question. But um, uh, Spain, and we, we, we have a very interesting uh, exchange of views with, with South African tourism. And it's CEO, because it's a very competent CEO. Uh, 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 what we've been successful at in Spain, because if not, we wouldn't have reached those numbers, uh, is to diversify what the country has to offer. For many years, we had the good weather, the quality of life, uh, uh, the food, uh, uh, the beaches, and we attracted mostly European tourists during our summer. But now it is an all year long operation uh, with very diversified attractions. Now, people, if you ask them, for instance, in South Africa, huh, there are a lot of people that would go to do the Camino, what they call the Camino, which is the pilgrimage to Santiago, the, to St. Jacques. To, uh, it is a wonderful life experience that takes a month walking through Spain. Yep, there is even uh, uh, a South African associations, association of those who have walked the Camino. Uh, I know, for instance, that Barcelona is a very attractive uh, city for South Africans. They like to visit there. Others want to go to Madrid. Sometimes it's football or soccer related. Huh? So, so uh, uh, there are a lot of followers uh, of South Africa, of Spanish football in South Africa. When they go, they try to, uh, to, to, to make the trip coincide with one of those big matches, El Clasico or whatever. Uh, we know that food is very, uh, very attractive for our visitors. And we are, and this is something that brings us very close to South Africa, a very diversified country very, uh, for many different things and, and many different ways of, of, of eating. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and people sometimes like that. I, I find a lot of visitors that like to just take a car and drive on their own see different things. Uh, and again, mm, well, I'm not neutral. I was born there. Uh, I 
field of learning in Spanish, I think that we are a quite welcoming people. Yeah. And people and visitors and tourists like to be welcome. Yeah. And to have some fun. Uh, and uh, if uh, you want to share a little bit with me in Madrid, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, you will understand what we mean by fun. <laughs> Well, actually, you're quite right about that. I've experienced it in Madrid and Barcelona. Your tour is nearly coming to an end. How did you and your family adapt to living in South Africa? And here I have to make a stop and, and, and actually congratulate um, more your wife than yourself. Your wife is a, a, a renowned artist. And the great thing of, 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 of your wife, and Oveva, is that she has shared that skill with others. And she has a uh, bring it beyond. She she did a few tours uh, when you stay here to Lesotho and engage with the people of the community and that, that, that that's very possible. Uh, overall, has it been an enjoyable experience and what are the highlights? Well, uh, let me uh, start by the, by the end. It has been a most enjoyable experience. And But allow me to talk about my wife. Thank you. Thank you about uh, Genoveva Fernandez wife of uh, close to 30 years now. Uh, it's true, she's an artist, and she's uh, an art teacher, both things. Now, that uh, helps a lot uh, when you are looking to to building a life in a different country, because you, you, build, you bring your profession mm -hmm. with you. Uh, in, in, in. And uh, artists, and, and all artists, uh, very much live in what they can uh, take, and they, they are always uh, uh, incorporating new things and, 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 and bringing them into what it is their uh, artistic uh, projection. And, and Genoveva has been a happy artist in, in South Africa. Uh, she has, has had the, the, the privilege and the opportunity of exhibiting, uh, both in, in, in showing her work both in, in, in Joburg and, and Cape Town. Uh, she has had the privilege of working with very relevant South African artists, of which I can, for instance, uh, mention uh, the name of Kim Lieberman. Uh, so she has been a happy artist. But she has also been, and you know very well, uh, Rodrigo, happy art teacher, both here in, in South Africa, with, with, uh, where she has taught art to a number of, of, of uh, people in Pretoria, uh, and I'm, I'm grateful that you referred to that project in the suit. Uh, together with uh, some of the students of her studio, they've been working on uh, a project in Moricha, in the Sutu, that would help bring art into the school curriculum in the country. Uh, and doing that, of course, through local artists there, uh, uh, and, uh, and by traveling, quite often to the country to offer workshops for the children, uh, for the teachers. And uh, that is going to be, for her, I'm sure, uh, uh, one of the highlights of our stay in, of our tour in South Africa. The other thing that I've enjoyed the most is, uh, let, let me say something, uh, is, is I, I have uh, the greatest admiration for a South African institution, which is Sandbox. Uh, I'm a proud uh, wild card uh, uh, holder and uh, a frequent visitor to South African national parks. We've traveled all around the country. As you know well, we, we go to Cape Town every year to um, for the opening of parliament, and we always drive, me and Genoveva, my wife. Uh, we, each time we choose a different road, to go down a different road to come back. So, so I can say that I know, uh, or I've tried to to, 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 to to travel as much as I can, and this countryman is beautiful, is astoundingly beautiful. Uh, and for me, all the times I've spent in, in uh, traveling around South Africa, I definitely Okay, so uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ambassador, for sharing this uh, with us, with all those uh, experiences. 
uh, within this country, and I'm sure that uh, South Africa will miss you. And um, I just have to say, hasta luego, amigo. Hasta luego, Rodrigo. Okay.